Have you ever wondered how millions of tiny creatures can coordinate a journey of epic proportions? Welcome to the world of the Red Crabs of Christmas Island, a spectacle that is as mesmerizing as it is astonishing. What we're about to explore is a journey that is nothing short of a miracle, a mass migration of epic proportions that leaves onlookers in awe. This is the Great Migration of the Red Crabs, an event that transforms the landscape of Christmas Island into a sea of red. Picture this, millions upon millions of red crabs, each no bigger than your palm, marching in unison across roads, bridges, and through forests. But what prompts this mass exodus, you may ask? Well, it's all about timing. As the wet season begins, usually around October or November, these crustaceans embark on their great journey. The rains trigger a biological response in these tiny creatures, signaling that it's time to move. This is no small feat. We're talking about a journey of up to nine miles, usually from the forest to the coast, undertaken by creatures that weigh no more than a few ounces. It's a testament to their strength, resilience, and sheer determination. What's even more fascinating is the level of coordination. Picture a city of people, all moving in the same direction at the same time, and you'll start to grasp the scale of this event. It's a sight that's so spectacular, it has been dubbed the eighth wonder of the world by those fortunate enough to witness it. But why do they do it? It's all about reproduction. The migration coincides with the female crab's spawning cycle, a critical phase in their life cycle when they release their eggs into the sea. There's so much more to these intriguing creatures than meets the eye. The Great Migration is just the beginning of their tale, a tale of survival, resilience, and the circle of life. Now let's delve deeper into the fascinating life of these red crabs. Each of these millions of crabs starts from a single egg, but how many babies can one red crab have? Let's delve into the fascinating life cycle of the red crab. A single female red crab, believe it or not, has the ability to lay up to 100,000 eggs in one go. Yes, you heard that right, 100,000. That's like a small city's population, all from one mother crab. But let's start from the beginning. The life of a red crab begins as a tiny egg, nestled amongst thousands of others in the female's brood pouch. These eggs remain there for about a month, before being released into the ocean during the peak of high tide. This precise timing is not by chance. The lunar cycle plays a crucial role here, influencing the tides and ensuring the eggs are swept safely out to sea. Once in the ocean the eggs hatch into microscopic larvae. They don't look much like crabs at this point but bear with me. These larvae go through several stages of development, floating in the open sea for about a month. Gradually they transform, shedding their old forms and gaining new ones, until they finally start to resemble tiny crabs. This is when they make their way back to the island, carried by the ocean currents. Once they hit the shore, the juvenile crabs, now the size of a small coin, begin their life on land. It's a tough start, fraught with danger and challenges, but those that survive grow over time into the adult crabs we're familiar with. The timing of the great migration of adult crabs is also linked to the lunar cycle. It's a coordinated dance of nature, ensuring that the next generation of eggs is released into the sea at just the right time. With such a large number of offspring what could possibly keep the crab population in check? Well, that's a story for another scene. Stay tuned as we delve further into the lives of these incredible creatures. Despite their numbers, red crabs face a myriad of threats, both natural and man-made. In the animal kingdom survival is the name of the game. For red crabs, the challenges are many. High above, predatory birds with keen eyes and sharp talons hover, ready to snatch up an unsuspecting crab. On the ground, rats, with their insatiable appetite, pose a constant threat. Yet perhaps the most formidable adversary of the red crab is not a fellow animal, but a smaller, more insidious creature the yellow crazy ant. Introduced accidentally to Christmas Island, these invasive ants have wreaked havoc on the local ecosystem. With their super colonies and potent formic acid, they've become a significant predator of the red crabs. These ants swarm over the crabs, spraying them with acid, leading to a slow and painful death. But the dangers don't stop with natural predators. The march of progress has brought its own set of challenges, as roads cut through the crab's migratory routes, many inevitably fall victim to traffic. Each year, countless crabs are crushed under the wheels of cars, their bright red shells reduced to fragments on the tarmac. Further still, the steady creep of urban development encroaches upon the crab's habitat. Forests are cleared, natural resources exploited and the crab's home is gradually eroded away. 
This habitat destruction not only threatens the crab's survival but also disrupts the delicate balance of the island's ecosystem. Yet, it's not all doom and gloom. Efforts are underway to mitigate these threats. Bridges are being constructed to provide safe passage over busy roads, and measures are being taken to control the crazy ant population. The red crab story is not just a tale of survival, but a testament to resilience. Despite the odds stacked against them, they continue their annual pilgrimage, driven by an instinct as old as time itself. Yet these resilient creatures continue to survive and thrive, but what fuels their epic journey? For a journey as long and arduous as this one might wonder, what do these red crabs eat to sustain themselves? Well the answer lies in the rich, verdant landscape of Christmas Island itself. Red crabs are omnivores feasting on a varied menu sourced from the island's ecosystem. Their diet primarily includes fallen leaves, fruits and seedlings. Now, imagine a carpet of red crabs, millions strong, scuttling through the forest floor, their sharp claws picking apart leaves and fruits. They're not just eating, they're also playing a crucial role in the health of the island's ecosystem. As they munch away, they break down organic matter and churn the soil. This process of aerating the soil helps in nutrient recycling, ensuring the soil remains fertile for the growth of new plants. Red crabs also control vegetation on the island by eating seedlings and young plants. This might seem destructive but it's an essential part of the island's ecological balance. By consuming young plants, they prevent certain species from becoming too dominant and help maintain the diversity of the island's flora. But it's not all about plants and leaves for these little critters. Red crabs have also been observed feasting on other items like bird droppings and carrion. And though it may sound a bit grim, these additional sources of food provide essential nutrients, aiding in their survival during their incredible migration. The diet of a red crab is a testament to the interconnectedness of nature. Every bite they take, every leaf they break down, contributes to the overall health and balance of the ecosystem. They are not just consumers but also contributors playing a vital role in the circle of life on Christmas Island. So the next time you see a red crab nibbling away at a leaf remember, it's not just a meal. It's a complex interaction of life processes, a dance of survival, and a testament to the intricate balance of nature. Their journey and life are indeed a spectacle of nature's marvel. As the wet season draws to a close so does the extraordinary journey of these red crabs. An epic saga written in the sands of time reaches its culmination. The grand spectacle of millions of scarlet bodies, a sea of red crabs, ebbs away, disappearing back into the depths of the forest. Like clockwork, they return to their humble burrows, bidding adieu to the open roads and sandy beaches. This annual migration, a pilgrimage of sorts, is not just a spectacle to behold, it's a testament to the intricate balance of nature. A cyclic dance where every pirouette, every step, is critical for the survival of an entire ecosystem. The red crabs play a pivotal role in shaping the island's ecology, their burrowing aerates the soil and their foraging helps in nutrient recycling. The forest floor is kept clean and fertile, paving the way for new life to sprout. Yet this migration is not just a journey home, it's a journey into the future. The sheer scale and synchrony of this mass movement provide fertile ground for scientific study. Crustacean biologists, conservationists, and nature enthusiasts from around the globe converge on this tiny island, their eyes fixed on these tiny creatures. The red crabs become a living laboratory, a treasure trove of information about crustacean biology, behavior, and adaptation. As we marvel at this spectacle, we are reminded of the intricate web of life, of the delicate balance that exists in nature. The red crabs with their tenacity and resilience teach us about survival, about adaptation and about coexistence. They remind us of our responsibility as the custodians of this planet to preserve and protect this delicate balance. And so, as the wet season draws to a close, the red crabs retreat into their burrows, their epic journey drawing to an end. Yet, this is not an end, it's merely a pause, a brief respite before the cycle begins anew. So, the next time you see a red crab, Remember the incredible journey it embarks on every year, a journey of survival, resilience, and sheer determination.